Praise the Lord. Today's mass intentions are mass offered for the departed soul of P. R. Williams by Eric Romana. Mass also offered by Celestina for God's blessings and good health. Mass offered by Vadana Rajan for the speedy recovery of Vani and Rohit. Mass offered by P. R. Yamini for God's blessings and good health. Mass offered by Sri Ramulu Sailaju for God's blessings and good health. Mass offered by Karthik K for government job. Mass offered by Virginia Mary for the deliverance of COVID-19. Mass offered Elizabeth as Thanksgiving Mass. Mass offered by Anaprati Rukmini for God's blessings and good health. Mass offered by Sumana Reddy Bayapati for God's blessings and good health. Mass offered by Praveen Kanaraprati for God's blessings and good health. Mass offered by Sandhya and Tarun for the recovery from COVID. Um, Ruthwick's good health and for Jambavati's good health. Mass offered by Rajeshwari Bontala for God's blessings and good health. Mass offered by Jennifer Mary for the soul of Arukya Mary. Mass offered by Anthony Thomas for God's blessings and good health. Mass offered by Chinam Ravikumar for God's blessings and good health. Mass offered by Nelson Francis for God's blessings and good health. Mass offered by Sudhir C for God's blessings and good health. Mass offered by Saroja Charles for God's blessings and good health. Mass offered by Edwin Bruce for God's blessings and good health. Mass offered by Randi Reddy Chindanapalli for God's blessings and good health. Mass offered as thanksgiving mass to Secretary of Jesus for the good health of S. Peter by Maria Delphin and family.
mass offered for the good health of family by slivam nirmala rani mass also offered for good health of mary anvika and mary nirmala by dikshita and kiran mass offered by joseph and susanna for as thanksgiving and for god's blessings and good health mass offered for the good health of members of court those who are suffering corona and for all the souls by tony francis disos and family mass also offered for the good health of kevin elena manisha vincent by vincent disos and family for all these intentions let us pray during this holy mass Soaring out the joy this morning, we long to meet you, God, the living God. How lovely is the dwelling place, O Lord! What peace and joy to feel so close to you. Our heart and soaring out the joy this morning, we long to meet you, God, the living God. so close to you our heart and soul ring out a joy this morning we long to meet you god the living god my dear beloved brothers and sisters especially this mass let's all pray for the people those who are affected with corona and the people those who are admitted in the hospitals and even we will pray for the severe cases may the lord show mercy on them and heal them completely and then let's also offer all our parents brothers and sisters and all our family members to the mighty hand of the lord and pray in this holy mass close your eyes join your both the hands and remember that you are in the presence of the lord and god who sees you rewards you having this thought in our mind let's all participate in this holy mass in a worthy way we we'll sing a new song to the lord for he has worked to wonders in the sight of the nations he has shown his deliverance alleluia In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Father we praise you. Father we praise you. Jesus we praise you. Jesus we praise you. Holy Spirit God we praise you. Holy Spirit God we praise you. Hallelujah. 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 My dear beloved brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. Today along with the mother church we celebrate the fifth sunday of the easter and today god is telling all of us 
if you abide in me i will abide in you if you don't abide in me you don't receive the blessings from me so before we participate in this holy mass i request all of you my brother my sister wherever you are kindly keep your both hands on your heart and check whether you are abiding in god whether you are in god or not if not ask god pardon and forgiveness i confess to almighty god and to, to you my brothers, brothers and, and sisters, sisters that, that i have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts in my words in what i have done and in what i have, done, in what I have failed, failed to do to my fault to my fault to my most grievous fault therefore i ask the blessed mary of a virgin all the angels and saints and to you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to your lasting life clap our hands and thank the lord for all the mighty god mighty things the great things that we have received the trinity in god let's all worship him let's all worship father god let's all worship the son of god let's all worship the holy spirit god and may the lord bless all of us all the good things whatever you receive from god let's all really worship him adore him my brother my sister amen glory to the father glory to the son Glory to the Spirit who lives in me. Glory to the Father. Glory to the Son. Glory to the Spirit who lives in me. Glory to the Spirit who lives in me. Glory to the Spirit who lives in me. Jesus, Messiah. Amen. The one who gives me victory. Thank you, Lord. The one. me victory jesus messiah jesus healer the one who heals all my wounds thank you lord the one who heals all my wounds amen jesus healer glory to the father glory to the son Glory to the Spirit who lives in me. Glory to the Father. Glory to the Son. Glory to the Spirit who lives in me. Glory to the Spirit who lives in me. Glory to the Spirit who lives in me. Jesus shall know. Amen. The one who brings peace in my life. The one who brings peace in my life Jesus shall glory to the father glory to the son glory to the spirit who lives in me glory to the father glory to the son glory to the spirit who lives in me glory to the spirit who lives in me 
glory to the Spirit who lives in me. Holy, holy Lord, Amen. Almighty and powerful God, Almighty and powerful God. Holy, holy Lord, glory to the Father, glory to the Son, glory to the Spirit who lives in me. Glory to the Father, glory to the Son, glory to the Spirit who lives in me. Glory to the Spirit who lives in me. Glory to the Spirit who lives in me. Let us pray. Almighty our living God, constantly accomplish the Paschal mystery within us that those who are pleased to make new in holy baptism may under your protective care bear much fruit and come to the joys of life eternal through lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever Barnabas declared to the apostles how on the road Paul had seen the Lord. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 9, verses from 26 to 31. When Saul had come to Jerusalem, he attempted to join the disciples, and they were all afraid of him, for they did not believe that he was a disciple. But Barnabas took him and brought him to the apostles, and declared to them how on the road he had seen the Lord, who spoke to him, and how at Damascus he had preached boldly in the name of Jesus. So he went in and out among them at Jerusalem, preaching boldly in the name of the Lord. And he spoke and disputed against the Hellenists, but they were seeking to kill him. And when the brethren knew it, they brought him down to Caesarea and sent him off to Tarsus. So the church throughout all Judea and Galilee and Samaria had peace and was built up. And walking in the fear of the Lord and in the comfort of the Holy Spirit, it was, multi it was multiplied. The word of God. Thanks be to God. Let the poor 
say I am rich because of what the Lord has done for And now let the weak say I am strong. Let the poor say I am rich because of what the Lord has done for A reading from the first letter of St. John, chapter 3, verses from 18 to 24. Little children, let us not love in word or speech, but in deed and in truth. By this we shall know that we are of the truth, and reassure our hearts before him whenever our hearts condemn us, for God is greater than our hearts, and He knows everything. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have confidence before God, and we receive from Him whatever we ask, because we keep His commandments and do what pleases Him. And this is commandment, that we should believe in the name of His Son Jesus Christ and love one another, just as he has commanded us. All who keep his commandments abide in him, and he in them. And by this we know that he abides in us by the Spirit which he has given us. The Word of God. To God. Please stand for Gospel acclamation. Abide in me, and I in you, says the Lord. He who abides in me bears much fruit. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint John. Glory to you, o Lord. Gospel according to Saint John, chapter fifteen, verses from one to eight. Chapter fifteen. Verses from 1 to 8 Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true wine, and my Father is the wine dresser. Every branch of mine that bears no fruit, 
he takes away and every branch that does bear fruit he prunes that it may bear more fruit you are already made clean by the word which i have spoken to you abide in me and i in you as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine neither can you unless you abide in me i am the vine you are the branches he who abides in me and i in him he it is that bears much fruit for apart from me you can do nothing if a man does not abide in me he is cast forth as a branch and withers and the branches are gathered thrown into the fire and burned if you abide in me and my words abide in you ask whatever you will and it shall be done for you by this my father is glorified that you bear much fruit and so prove to be my disciples the gospel of the lord praise you lord jesus Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 My dear beloved brothers and sisters, today in the first reading we read Saint Paul after his conversion he joined with the disciples and with all other disciples he joined with them and they went around the world and they preached while they were preaching there were some people who were converted themselves into christianity and there were some people by hearing their preaching the disciples preaching they came back to the lord and we see all those who are heard the god's word while it was preached to them they all got the peace in their hearts the peace in their land the joy in their family who are those specially the people in judea the people in samaria the people in galilee so three these three areas of people all were of them were filled with the joy of the lord filled with the peace of the lord how did they fill themselves with the peace of the lord how they received the peace from god is only by hearing god's word yes my dear beloved brothers and sisters we need to hear god's word when you and me hear or read god's word what happens we will be filled with the peace of the lord and we don't have anything in our hearts our hearts will not be troubled we don't have any fear fear of the people fear of the world worldly things we don't fear anybody because the word which we which we read daily the word which we hear daily that keeps us alive 
that gives us life that gives us peace the god's word only can give us comfort praise the lord hallelujah 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 and that's what we read matthew matthew's gospel chapter 4 verse 4 we read matthew's gospel chapter 4 verse 4 but he answered but jesus answered it is written it is written listen one does not live by bread alone one does not live by bread alone but by every word but every word that comes from the mouth of god that comes from the mouth of god you see my dear children of god we have to live by his word the food that we needed for our soul the fruit the true food is god's word daily we have to eat it eating in the sense daily soon after getting up we have to take it which means we have to read and listen and afternoon and evening it is like 3 days for our body to survive our body so what we do we take breakfast we take lunch we take supper in the same way what about our soul so for the soul the food is god's word therefore my brothers and sisters as you take three meals a day you also should take the spiritual food three days in a day three times in a day morning afternoon evening and even before sleep so then what happens you will be strengthened spiritually once when you are strengthened spiritually no evil can dare to touch you problems may come difficulties may come sickness may come you don't bother you don't mind it because the word that you received in your heart the word that you hear about that keeps you that gives you strength that gives you power and with that you move on that's what happened in the life of saint paul that's what happened in the life of the disciples before they came to know th- this truth they all were frightened they all got fear what these people will think about me peter thought himself he hide himself and he was going on round making rounds here and there he was keeping on hiding himself without anybody's knowledge secretly he was hiding himself why if some people see us and ask you are you are the one no you are the disciples of christ so they may ask and kill him so he had the fear of the people but when he got the strength you know when he got the courage you know once he tasted the god's word once you tasted the holy spirit god in his life so he became a strong person then he started to write the letters first peter second peter praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah and that's what we read book of isaiah chapter 28 verse 23 we read what isaiah says we listen book of isaiah 28 23 <clears throat> listen listen my dear children of god and hear my voice and hear my voice pay attention pay attention and hear my speech and hear my speech you see even through isaiah god says to us listen attentively listen carefully what we need to listen we need to listen the god's word when you listen to him when you hear his word 
we'll see the miracles happening in our lives this is the food for our soul this is only the this is only gives life to us so therefore we need to day and nights we need to hear his word we need to meditate his word and we need to listen and read his word praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah 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 and even jeremiah chapter 22 verse 20, 28 29 we read even through jeremiah god said something we we'll listen jeremiah 22 29 Jeremiah twenty two twenty nine twenty eight to read brother. I will fasten him mm. like a peg uh. in the secure place, uh. and he will become a throne of honor mm. to his ancestral house. Uh. Luke eleven twenty eight to read. Gospel of Luke eleven verse twenty eight. Here finally Jesus says to us. what he says to his children 1128 jesus said jesus said blessed blessed rather are those who hear the word of god rather are the those who hear the god's word and obey, obey it you see who will be blessed more than others who will be blessed more is the person or are the people who listen carefully god's word who receive god's word in their hearts and not only receiving but those who follow god's word what it tells so those people will be blessed by god more than others those people will be receiving more blessings abundant blessings and great blessings in their lives father we praise you father we praise you jesus we praise you jesus we praise holy you. spirit god we praise you holy spirit god we praise hallelujah you. hallelujah 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 hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 and even finally we see john gospel of john chapter 5 verse 25 we read Five twenty-five, John. Very truly, I tell you. Very, very truly, I tell you. The hour is coming. The hour is coming. And is now here. And is now here. When the dead will hear. When the dead will hear my word. The voice of the Son of God. The voice of Son of God. And those who hear. Will live. And those who hear my word will live. Even the dead person. when he listens god's word when he listens the living god living word so the person will live yes my brother my sister such a powerful powerful one god's word such a mighty one is god's word when we started to read when we started to listen his word when we started to obey his word things will move things will move things will move therefore my brother my sister and finally we read matthew chapter 7 verse 24 matthew 7 verse 24 we read everyone everyone then who hears these words everyone those who hear these words of mine and acts on them and acts are obey them will be like a wise man will be like a wise man who builds his house on a rock who builds his house on a rock my the brother the rain fell the rain falls the floods came the floods comes and the winds blew and the winds blew and beat on that house and beat on the house 
but it did not fall but it did not fall because because it had been founded it has been founded on a rock my brother my sisters scripture says all those who hear god's word and obey it those people how they will be you know they are the one like a person who built his house not on a sand but on a rock since it is since it builds on a rock that house will nothing will happen to it whether wind comes whether whether big heavy rain comes whether flood comes nothing happens to that house because that house is built on rock in the same way my brother my sisters if you hear his word and obey it your life also will be like a like the house which is built on a rock you will be on a rock rock signifies the christ so automatically when you hear his word and obey it you will be in his hands and problems comes nothing happens to you sickness may come nothing happens to you people may think about you badly people may fight with you people may tell you a b c d of many things about you so nothing happens to you because you are you have built your house of life on the rock of christ so nothing will shake you no corona no car nothing so therefore try to learn to listen god's word daily keep in your heart keep in your mind keep in your thoughts go on meditate upon it then what happens so god will bless you abundantly and you will see the miracles happening in your life amen therefore my brothers and sisters this is what the first reading tells us very clearly and if you don't obey his word or if you don't listen his word what happens satan will come and he will make you to hear his words make you to hear different kinds of voices in the world and you instead of listening god's word instead of praying for yourself instead of sitting in the chapel so you will be roaming here and there if some people come and says come come we will go to the party we will go come 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 we will go and enjoy we go there come 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 we will go and eat chicken biryani hyderabad biryani we go and eat there so we hear the people's voice we enjoy simply we will be trapped by the evil but if you hear carefully god's word and always meditate upon it what happens even 100 people calls you to go for the enjoyment you will not obey them you say strictly no i have to read god's word i have a prayer i have this is time for me to sit in a chapel to praise him i have a mass i have got a prayer meeting i have to go so this is what the difference my brother my sister so therefore try to learn to listen and read and meditate it. that's like a people of samaria people of judea and people of galilee when they heard they all were filled with the joy of christ and the peace was covered all the family members said so they were very happy the same happiness we also will receive when we hear and obey his word and that's what in when second reading says st john says uh, we read first john chapter 3 we read he says when we live according to god's will and wish whatever we ask him he grants us it is like in a house there are two children when da, when mommy mom says you go to the market you go to the shop the one person one child listens to mother another child doesn't listen and any occasion comes maybe for christmas comes 
the child elder one comes and ask mummy i need clothes the small one also ask mummy i need clothes for the christmas new clothes i want so both of them ask but mother feel to give only the one who listens to her only the person only a child since this is this my small child whatever i say he listens whatever i i say before i say he go and does he goes and does so therefore the mother feels to give him only even certain things she will hide and gives him because she loves him so much because whatever she says he obeys him he obeys her but she doesn't want to do any favor or do any help or buy anything to the other child because that fellow never helps a mother that fellow never listens to her voice and obeys her always that fellow is like a disobedient child in the same way my brothers and sisters when you and me live according to god's will and wish what is his wish living according to his commandments living according to his commandments when you live and obey his commandments what happens so god will hear your prayer that's what we read john's gospel chapter 15 verse 14 sorry 15 7 you read brother if you abide in me if you abide in me and my words abide in you my words abide in you ask for whatever you wish ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you and it will be done for you you see when we live when we obey him god will grant us whatever we ask like a mother when she felt she felt to help a person one who listens to her in the same way god also sees okay this child of mine obeys me so let me grant her since she is asking this job let me grant her the job let me give her this one let me give her this one let me give him this one so whatever we need god will provide us whatever we ask him he provides us when it happens when we obey his commandments praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah 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 and even in the gospel we see he says same thing if you abide in me i will abide in you if you don't abide in me you don't receive my blessings you see a tree is there as long as the branch is attached with that as tree is going growing in the same way the branch also will grow along with the tree once the branch is cut off from the tree and throw away what happens it will dry because it doesn't attached with the tree because the tree has got a life because the tree has got itself is a life from the root it gets the life in the same way jesus is our vine and we are his branches he is our true vine we are his branches so we have to we should be attached to the tree of jesus as long as we are with him as long as we are connected with him we will grow we will we will be fruitful in every way but if you don't connected with him if you are not with him what happens whatever we plan whatever we do everything is useless everything will be wasted everything will be useless my brothers and sisters and what happens finally when we 
learn to abide in him when we learn to live with him when we learn to be with him when we learn to connect with him when we learn to have a relationship with jesus what happens there are four things the first thing first john chapter 2 verse 6 we read first john chapter 2 verse 6 we are from god we are from god whoever knows god whoever knows god listens to us listens to us and whoever is not from god and whoever is not from god does not listen to us does not listen to us from this we know from this we know the spirit of truth the spirit of truth and the spirit of error and spirit of error beloved Ah. let us love one another beloved let us love one another because love is from god because love is from god everyone who loves everyone who loves is born of god i is found of god and knows god and knows god whoever does not love ah does not know god ah see my brothers and sisters the first thing god is teaching us when we abide in him what happens we walk in his ways how jesus walked in father's way my son jesus this is the way you have to walk as long as you are in this world and that's what jesus said i am the way truth and life those who walk in me they never see they never experience the darkness in their life they always experience my light in their life my light will be shining on them all those who walk in my way so he is our way so we will we will be walking in his way once when we abide in him we don't go away astray from him but we will be walking straightly the way he showed us the way he showed us because we are already connected with him and second thing we read second corinthians chapter 5 verse 7 verse 17 second corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 so if anyone is in christ if anyone in in christ there is a new creation there is a new creation you see st paul is tell st paul tells us today if anybody connected with christ if anybody if you connected with him if you have relationship with him if you learn to be with him if you learn to abide in him if you learn to stay with him what happens you will become a new person all your old self will be removed from you all your old habits the bad habits bad thinking everything whatever belongs to the old it will move away from you and you will you will become a, a new baby a new person in christ and you will have the new thinkings you will have the new habits you will have the godly thinking godly ways and you will be thinking like jesus and you will be doing the things like jesus like a child of god and no you will know nothing always you will be happy always you will be enjoying the presence of god in you around you and always the light of christ will be upon you so when it will happen so when you abide in him so therefore my brothers and sisters so learn to be with him learn to stay with him learn to abide in him so that you will become a new person and that's what god wants my child should become a new person and when you are new person god will grant you many gifts and fruits he blesses you in many ways so therefore keeping this reflection in our thoughts let's all pray during this holy mass Let's all stand in the presence of the Lord and say, "I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, of the Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under the Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into death, and third day he rose again. 
he ascended to the heaven and seated at the right hand of the Father Almighty. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let's sir, close our eyes and pray in silence of our heart for the various needs of the church. Especially let's all pray for the people, those who are affected with the coronavirus. May the Lord show mercy on them and remove the virus from our country itself. And may the Lord fill all of us with, it, with the joy and peace as He fill the people in Samaria Galilee and Judea. Submit all your intentions to the Lord, my brothers, my sisters. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray well that my sacrifice and us may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept your sacrifice and join us for the praise and glory of His name, for the good and goodness of all His holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange affected in this sacrifice, how made us partakers of the one supreme God, grant we pray that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our oh God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just and with salvation uh, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more graciously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross, and by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamp of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalt in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest Lord, we lift up your name With our hearts filled with praise We exalt the Lord our God Hosanna in the highest Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna Holy is the land you come, hallelujah. Holy, holy, holy is the land you come. Lord, we lift up your name. Lift up your name. With the hearts will be free. 
Yazal and Walada Osana in the high, Osana in the high, Osana in the high. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray. By sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was betrayed and entered willingly his passion. He took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood. The blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that I have as worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and bread of Christ, you may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Paul Anton our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, you may merit to be coerced eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <coughs> Through him and him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let's all stand and say the beautiful prayer which our Master Jesus taught us to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, from, deliver us Lord, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Father,
kingdom power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ as it apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let's offer each other the sign of peace lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world how mercy on us lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world how mercy on us lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world grant us your peace behold the lamb of god behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the lamb lord i am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word my soul shall be healed may the body of christ keep us safe for eternal life amen I am the true vine and you are the branches says the Lord who ever remains in me and I in him bears fruit in plenty hallelujah let us pray graciously be present to your people we pray o lord and lead those you have imbued with the heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. To my Lord ever ceasing All my life I will tell of His wonders He is the maker of all earth and heaven Of the oceans, the seas, all the homes